Bubbly Steve is available for pre-order at shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. You've got less than a month to pre-order this 15-inch plushie. Check them out. Welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about the cancellation of legendary comic book creator Frank Miller. He's been canceled from Thought Bubble in UK, which is a, a pretty notable comic book convention uh, in the UK. He's disinvited. He's not allowed to come because of backlash against some uh, things he said, thoughts he's had. I guess uh, they're, they're saying he's anti-Muslim or something. We're going to talk about this. Frank Miller has always been a polarizing figure in comics. He's always had uh, very strong opinions, but he's also widely regarded as one of the greatest comic book artists of the last several decades. I mean, you're talking about the guy who uh, gave us Dark Knight Returns. Now, the sequels, yeah, not good. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, the sequels were not good, but the Dark Knight Returns is one of the highest selling graphic novels uh, DC's ever put out. Uh, he is always in, you know, top 25 lists. I pulled up sci-fi. They had him at number 14. Um, Dark Knight Returns, Daredevil, 300. I mean, Frank Miller has a very distinct style and he's always been uh, very, very outspoken. So we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 224,000, 223,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support we had in, uh, unfortunately, a very busy weekend uh, this weekend dealing with the uh, the Kevin Smith debacle. But uh, I think it's kind of, kind of cooling down a little bit. I don't know. We're going to go back to talking about some other stuff. Uh, talk about comic books, which we do talk about quite a bit. Uh, we talk about animation. We talk about uh, manga uh you know, video games, whatever interests us, uh, you know, pop culture in general. And Frank Miller, who is, you know, legendary, absolutely legendary. Uh, you know, here, this is a couple of years ago. He sold a piece of his uh, Dark Knight's Return, uh, Dark Knight Returns art for almost a half a million dollars. Classic page, classic imagery. Uh, there isn't a comic book fan who who grew up uh, in the 80s 90s who hasn't probably uh, read a, a Frank Miller or something right and now he's being canceled uh, current year because it's current year everybody ev everything anybody has ever said ever you're going to be judged by I would say they're your peers but again you know people like Frank Miller don't have a lot of peers we have a lot of people that think they're uh, Frank Miller's peers but they're not, but they're disinviting him from, from uh, Thought Bubble. So this is coming from the Daily Dot. Convention pulls Sin City creator Frank Miller from its lineup after outcry. The announcement came after attendees said they were dropping out. UK Comics Convention Thought Bubble has announced it will no longer be hosting Frank Miller as a guest in response to backlash from attendees and other guests. We're going to get into supposedly what he's he's said here's the statement on their twitter over the last 14 years thought bubble has grown into an amazing community of comic creators and fans who we love trust and respect we have let you down We've let you down and in our commitment to maintaining thought bubble as a safe space for all we have fallen short we exist to share the art form and its worlds with people if any individual group or community feels uncomfortable or excluded from our show then we failed. What about the Frank Miller fans? They probably feel excluded right now. We know that many of you are disappointed in us and have been expecting a comment on this before now. We're sorry for our silence while we, we've been trying to fix this. Frank Miller will not be attending Thought Bubble. We are deeply sorry, particularly to those who we should be standing up for the most. We hope that you can give us the opportunity to make this better, and we thank you for holding us accountable. Twitter cancellation mob twitter gets frank miller canceled frank miller one of the the uh most popular comic book artists of the last quarter century or more uh frank miller who forever changed batman uh that frank miller yeah we got him canceled because he's problematic 
Twitter got Frank Miller canceled. We know there's still more to discuss and we will be replying to those who have been in touch. We hope you can bear with us while we do this. We won't let you down again. Yours, Team Thought Bubble. Stop being such pussies. God, these conventions, these publishers. It's not like, hey, we're not having so-and-so. You know, we've had some complaints. We're not going to do this. They always put out this really long-winded, you know, uh, confession of sin. What a bunch of pussies. Look, if they want to disinvite them because they think it's going to be a problem, that that is their business. They can do it. I, I personally think it's bullshit given who he is. But if you want to disinvite the guy, that's fine. But they put these statements out there. We're so sorry. We're going to be sitting here in our sackcloth and ashes, weeping openly for days about how much sin we have in our lives. This is religious stuff. Isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, this is this is like what you would do in a cult, in a religious cult. If you failed your religious leaders, you would there would be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is worse than I thought was good. Like I said, if you cancel the guy and say, hey, he's not coming. We had some complaints. Uh, you know, just so you know. And put left it at that. But they always do this. We've let you down. Oh, I'm so sorry I cheated on my wife. Oh, I'm so sorry I had dirty pictures of kids on my computer. Oh, I'm so sorry I ate cake. Pussies. Seriously. Anyway, back, back to it. Frank Miller, once the uncontested king of comics, has been increasingly controversial over the years, already accused of misogyny over Sin City. Wait, what are the accusations exactly? Let's get into this. Already accused of misogyny over Sin City, Miller came under fire for Holy Terror in 2011. I do, I do remember that did not go over very well. A graphic novel which critics called out as Islamophobic. This is in 2021. That thought bubble Miller situation shows that even the most respected organizations will throw their ethics away for money and that speaking out works. He's doing commissions. Frank Miller doesn't need to do commissions. Frank Miller is hella rich. He doesn't need to do commissions. Just putting it out there. Here's Team Godzilla. What was Thought Bubble even thinking by inviting Frank Miller in the first place? Don't they know that Twitter disapproves? Not gonna lie, when I first saw him name, when I first saw him name, I thought it was a publicity stunt so they could immediately drop him to prove they're a friendly space. Otherwise, his presence just feels so at odds with their mission statement. Once Thought Bubble announced it had invited Miller to appear as a guest at the convention, which is scheduled for November 13th through the 14th at the Harrogate Convention Center in England, the reaction was swift and highly negative from Twitter. Everybody else wouldn't give a shit. In fact, people would probably line up around the block to come see Frank Miller. I don't think he does a lot of conventions these days. Fans announced they would no longer attend the convention unless Miller was dropped. Well, clearly they're not fans of, of Frank Miller. With some going so far as to tweet screenshots of their canceled bookings as the start date dragged closer and Miller remained on the books. Yeah, not going to Thought Bubble this year. They've made their choice. I've made mine. The UK's best comics event should have no interest in the, the likes of Frank Miller's bigotry sticking it up or any... You can't make this up. Where do these people come from? Where do they live? Real people in the real world don't talk like this. Nobody talks like this. I, nobody, even, even in freaking Portland, people aren't just sitting around. Well, maybe Portland. No, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I actually, we have people from Portland who watch us. It's like, come on, Portland's not that bad. Okay. Okay. But I, seriously, I can't picture a bunch of man buns sitting around a coffee shop going like, well, did you hear about Thought Bubble? Mm, they invited Frank Miller and his bigotry is literally just stinking everything up. I can smell Frank Miller from across the room. It's just, it smells like old money and misogyny and more money and more money. It just smells like money. He just smells like money when he walks by. All I smell is sweaty $100 bills. It's like the man sweats money. How disgusting is that? 
Why would they ever invite a man who sweats money to their for-profit organization's event? Seriously, who wants all that money, all that man money stinking up the place? You tell him, Hamish. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I urge Thought Bubble to reconsider which parts of this industry they want to showcase. Oh, for fuck's sake. Again, where do these people come from? I, I, I seriously, I read these tweets. I'm like, you're not a real person. You're a caricature of a real person. Nobody talks like this. Nobody talks like this. It, for, for real. Like, you're a cartoon. Nobody talks like this. I was so looking forward to Thought Bubble. It's the only con I go to every year, but they're inviting Frank Miller. That's a hard pass from me. Do better. Do better. We're going to send Twitter after you. Jess Taylor. I will be withdrawing from Thought Bubble, and I urge other creators to do the same until Frank Miller is pulled from the roster. Edward Ross. I love Thought Bubble UK every year. I attend. I can't in good conscience attend this year while Frank Miller remains a guest, sweating his sweaty money sweat all over people. Why invite someone whose work has done real harm when you could be making space for exciting modern voices, not those sweaty old men who sweat money? But it seems like it took independent publisher Shortbox to sign the pool to get Thought Bubble to finally remove Bill, uh, Miller as a guest. For clarity, I first contacted Thought Bubble about this privately eight weeks ago. After discussions, I was assured action would be taken. <sighs> so wait, this publisher got Frank Miller canceled. Okay. Uh, this week, it's been communicated to me that I am the acceptable loss. Repercussions to my career income over repercussions to theirs. So this is what they said. I'm sorry to inform you that Shortbox and I will no longer be attending Thought Bubble Festival this November. I was invited as a guest in 2020, which rolled over to this year. I've been excited to attend represent my authors, and share our books with readers after almost two years of no conventions. However, as a proud Muslim woman, I cannot in good conscience attend a festival that deems it appropriate to invite and platform Frank Miller, a person who is responsible for the propagation of abhorrent anti-Muslim hate, particularly via his work. I haven't read that book, um, the one that came out in 2011. We are talking about a book that's been out for 10 years. So I can't vouch as to whether or not it's it's what they're claiming it is. I do know that Twitter tends to exaggerate. I'm putting that that lightly. I don't know. Uh, but here's the thing. If, if Thought Bubble bans him, then how long until other conventions ban him? Because it's the thing to do now. It's, it's basically, he has become the comic book equivalent of Vic Mignogna at this point, right? You're not allowed to invite them or they will brigade your convention or Ethan Van Skyver. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like I, we're, we're, we're running into this, uh, this situation now where I think we're going to have two comic book industries. We're going to have this comic book industry, which is Twitter's comic book industry. And then we're going to have another comic book industry, um, built on titles that sell built on creators that sell. And even if some of those creators might have some, iffy politics or iffy beliefs, uh, you know, convention runners are probably going to follow the money. Um, anyway, that's, that's, that's my take on it. Uh, again, I can't vouch as to whether or not his, his work is truly anti-Muslim or not. I don't know. Uh, anti-Muslim bigotry is repugnant and condemnable yet has become so deeply rooted, so widely accepted in society. It's not even given a cursory consideration as evidence once again in this situation. I cannot comprehend how time and time again, festivals and communities within comics espouse values regarding inclusivity, diversity, comics being for everyone, zero tolerance on hate, but all that lip service evaporates when they're, act, uh, they're asked to enact those same values. Although some fans of the con are just pleased that Miller will no longer attend. For many, his removal is too little too late. So it doesn't matter. You got rid of him and people still aren't coming. I'm glad that Thought Bubble has stepped up and committed to their promise of being a safe, inclusive space, but it shouldn't have taken independent creators risking their livelihood and refusing to attend and being vocal about why. He shouldn't have been invited in the first place. You were supposed to know he was on the do not fly list. Don't you know? We keep lists. No, they do. They literally keep lists. They deny it. They deny, deny, deny. But there are literal lists circulating around of people you do not invite to conventions uh, you do not work with if you want to stay in the good graces of Twitter. And that's what this is about, is not pissing off people on Twitter. For some, it's the fact that after eight, week, 
weeks of objections from guests and fans. It took one of their more prominent guests withdrawing to remove Miller, including short boxes. Uh, going to mangle her name. Uh, Zainab Akhtar? Is that, is that? Wait a second. Doesn't she write for, she wrote for Comic Speed. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she wrote for Comic Speed. So she was a journalist turned publisher. Okay. Okay. Um, so she sees it as, as having been used to do Thought Level's dirty work for them. So in black and white, I was used to do Thought Level's dirty work for them and as an acceptable sacrifice in order for them to garner and provide proof to Miller's team and extract themselves from the situation. She's a journalist, right? Just saying, they might have been afraid of her. It might not be that they actually agree with her. They might have actually been afraid of her because they know that she could go running to, you know, Bleeding Cool. She could go running to Comics Beat. I'm just, I'm just saying. They might have looked at this as a potential PR nightmare, but there's no way to win this one because now uh, you're the convention that canceled Frank Miller. Like, and other conventions may follow suit. Uh, they probably will. Absolutely insane. It's taken the action of short box in support of comics creatives over the past day for Thought Bubble to finally do the right thing regarding Frank Miller. Truly a permanent black mark on the record. You cannot please Twitter. Publishers, convention runners. I'm just saying, even if you throw the people under the bus that they want you to throw under the bus, it's, it's never enough. It's never enough. Now they're like, well, you shouldn't have invited him in the first place. And it took you too damn long. All you could smell was that money that Frank Miller was bleeding. For profit organization. What the hell is wrong with you? It raised an issue when he was announced. I had private contact at the end of June. Yes, this is what happens. This is what happens. These Twitter people, they have private conversations, low-key private threats. They come to you privately and they're like, hey, if you don't do what we want, we're going to go to Twitter. We're going to drag you. We're going to drag you all over the damn place. Um, and you tell me that there are no blacklists in comics. You tell me that there, there's no collusion in the comic book industry, which is very small. Uh, very small and getting increasingly weirder, by the way. Again, I can't, I can't vouch for Frank Miller's comics as he said anything publicly like has he put any tweets out there saying like oh, i hate muslim people or anything like that or is it just you didn't like his comic book you know i i mean that's 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 the question i have because if he if he put tweets out there or he had interviews where he was making you know uh, comments like that then I, I guess i could see that more than like i don't like his comic book uh, i don't know anyway this is also the frank miller that was a big deal with you know, the comic book legal defense fund for years. You know, we had that image of that little girl having her eyes and mouth kind of duct taped, uh, band-aids put over. And uh, that was powerful imagery. And now the comic book legal defense fund is a joke. It basically helps publishers toe the line. They would throw Frank Miller under the bus. You know, they would censor Frank Miller and claim it was, uh, you know, freedom of speech because they had to, everybody else had to be free from Frank Miller, so they would censor him. That's how it works now. I don't understand how such a good con, one that has had outreach programs for underrepresented creators of all kinds, cannot know that inviting someone like Frank Miller could possibly undermine everything they're trying to do. Oh, God. It shouldn't have gotten to this point. We're so sorry. And although we've been working on it for weeks now, Barrier stopped us making the decision we wanted to make. Probably a potential lawsuit, probably an ironclad contract, probably the thought of losing a shit ton of money by disinviting Frank Miller. I wondered if certain other people had a hold over you, you needed persuading, as I thought you especially would have tried to fix this. Holy hell, it just goes on and on. They keep saying there were barriers in place, but why do those barriers uh, that have been so insurmountable in the eight weeks since uh, others raised the issue suddenly melt away when the matter was public and Thought Bubble started getting bad publicity? You cost these people time and energy they could have used being productive and taking care of their well-being as opposed to putting themselves out there and dealing with the consequences of your actions, Thought Bubble. I hope you're paying reparations to those... Holy shit, what? I hope you're paying reparations to those that put themselves in the firing line and now have to deal with an onslaught of abuse. It doesn't end with just an apology. Numerous reports say Thought Bubble promised to address inviting Frank Miller and all the problems it entails. 
and then did nothing and is so disappointing, fully aware and making the choice to sell marginalized people in comics out for a big name. Comics Twitter should stop talking about artist versus writer and about Batman buying crime for the millionth time and start talking about how most of y'all are cool with the industry being the way that it is. No, actually, some of us aren't cool with the industry being the way that it is because it's not an industry anymore. It hasn't been for a very long time. It's a club. It's a club. Uh, and you don't have to like somebody. In fact, this has been addressed for a while. I know if you go to San Diego, uh, they actually ask you, I think it was San Diego, maybe it was New York, one of, the, one of the bigger cons. If you set up there, if you table there, they ask you if there's anybody you hate. So they don't put you next to somebody you hate because they don't want there to be issues because it's such a freaking click. Thought Bubble really threw her in front of Frank Miller's racist fans and just said, oops, sorry. Sorry, everybody, so sorry. So there we go, guys. Frank Miller, considered, widely considered one of the greatest uh, comic book artists of the last 25, 35 years, uh, canceled from Thought Bubble because of Twitter. Let me know your thoughts. Comment below. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. <laughs>